Hi, I'm Mira from Alaya Pilates. This is a fourth trimester postnatal class, as well as diastasis recti safe class, even if you're no longer considered postnatal. If you are a new mom between 0 to 6 postnatal, you can join this class and do the first five exercises to help you uh, reconnect to your pelvic floor and a deep abdominal muscle as well as to practice your breathing. What you need for this class is a scarf or a towel long enough to go around your hips. If you have a small Pilates ball, that's fantastic, we need it for this class, but if you don't have one, not a problem. You can use cushion, a cushion or a pillow, as well as a soft toy as a replacement. Okay, once you get all those items, come and join me back on a mat. All right, we're gonna start with some breathing exercises. So, let's grab your scarf or towel we're going to start kneeling. If you are kneeling on a hard surface, I suggest that you have padding on your knees or underneath your knee. You can use a, a pillow, a cushion, or a rolled up towel so that you feel comfortable to be on your knee for a few minutes. All right, well, now we're gonna use the scarf or the towel you have. We're gonna do an exercise called the binding breathing. So go ahead and bring or wrap your lower part of the rib cage with the scarf like so and you're going to cross the scarf at the front now i like you to create a nice upright alignment meaning is that when you're kneeling that your pelvis is not what we call in entry tilt or posture tilt that you hang in your lower back try to get an upright alignment where your pubic bone and your hip bones are in vertical alignment with each other. So which means that you may feel your hamstring and your glutes working and your back muscles working to engage. Okay, so once you have that alignment, let's begin. I like you to think about or focus on your breathing. As you inhale, focus on how much or how far can you expand your rib cage towards the scarf, so like this. Inhale through the nose, and as you exhale, can we deflate the rib cage? And maybe you can help to tighten up the scarf a little bit. And an inhale, expanding the rib cage, inhale through the nose, exhale, through the mouth, deflating the rib cage. Inhale again. Exhale. Do at your own pace. If you find that my breathing is too long for you, that's fine. You can just breathe in and breathe that at your own pace. And exhale. This is a perfect time to practice on expanding that lungs, expanding the diaphragm, making your ribs move. Yeah? And exhale. Let's do a few more rounds. And if you feel like your breathing is a little short, that's okay. Observe it and try to keep practicing so that you can actually work on stretching the muscle, stretching the rib cage, and your breath can be a lot deeper and a lot longer. Let's go ahead and do two more actually. Inhale. I'll stop talking. And an exhale. What you've done, lift the shoulders up. Keep, try to keep the shoulders nice and easy. One more. Exhale. Good job. Let's go move on to the next exercise. So exercise number two. We're going to go ahead and wrap our waistline with the scarf, right? So underneath the rib cage, between the rib cage and the hip bones. Again, cross at the front, binding the belly. Okay, here 
What we're going to do, imagine or visualize that you still have the scarf around the rib cage. So I'd like you to expand the ribs like what you just did before, but when you inhale, so I like you to not to push the belly outward, but try to contain the content of the belly. Then as you exhale, I like you to contract the abdominal muscle and create a smaller waistline rim. All right, let's give it a try. So we inhale, visualizing my rib cage expanding, and I'm not trying to push my belly out. Exhale, I'm drawing my abdominal wall in, and I can help it with a little bit with my hands here. And in breath. I'm not pushing my belly out, but I'm trying to expand my rib cage. Exhale. I'm drawing my abdominal wall in. And an inhale. Can we now try to incorporate the pelvic floor? Exhale. I'm thinking drawing up my pelvic floor towards my belly button, and then my belly button will deepen or sink towards my lower back and my waistline will come in. Again, in breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Let's do two more times. One more. Good job. Now that you work on trying to activate that abdominal wall. So let's, you can release the scarf and put it aside for a moment. Let's sit down and have your leg in a cross leg position. Now I'd like you to grab your ball or cushion or the soft toy. <laughs> Sitting upright, perching on your sitting bone, and try to get that beautiful upright alignment. I like you not to slouch or lean forward that you're sticking your booty out, but I like you to find your best upright alignment. Placing the ball or the cushion or the soft toy in front of the chest, like so. Now, again, visualizing the Rib cage being binded, the belly being binded. We inhale, expanding the ribs. As you exhale, pelvic floor comes up, the abdominal wall comes in, and then I like you to press the ball gently. So you're really activating the muscle underneath the arm, underneath the armpit, around the rib cage, and the lower abdomen. In breath, releasing the ball. Exhale. In breath. Try to create length around your neck and broad shoulders. Inhale. Three more times. Two more. Last. Well done. Place the ball away for a second. Exercise number four, we're going to do some lateral stretch for the obliques and the QL. So we're going to go to your right as we inhale, which is my left. Tip over your body diagonally, soften the bottom elbow, and then take the top arm over. Now I'd like you to really still place both sitting bone down on the floor while you keep the arm stretching away. 
Stay the inhale, lengthening the spine. Exhale, drawing the abdominal wall in. Now for the next inhalation, I'd like you to just rotate the upper body and I want you to just keep reaching the arms away from the shoulder so you feel a nice stretch along the lower spine. And stay there. That's your QL, your quadratus lumbar and muscle. Inhale. Exhale, pulling the belly in, reaching the arm away. Rotate back, facing me. Coming up, arms up, and then come upright. Over to your left, which is my right. Tip over diagonally, soften the bottom elbow, and then taking the top arm over. In breath. Exhale. One more. Inhale, reaching away. Exhale. Next inhalation, I'd like you to rotate your body diagonally. So pulling that center in. Inhale, reaching the arm away from the shoulder blade. Exhale, pulling the belly towards the back. One more, please. Inhale. Exhale. And coming back, facing me. Bringing the arms up, lengthening the spine, and come up and release that. Okay, exercise number five. This is with the last exercise if you are still between zero to six week postnatal. Okay, now I like you to, we're going to do it lying on your back on supine position, but I like you to place your scarf around the hip bones here. So you're going to hug the hips tightly with the scarf like so. So the hip bones are two bony, bony landmarks in front of your hips. Those are the ones that we're going to focus on, okay? So go ahead, lie on your back. The best way is to go to the side and then roll onto your back. Right, I like you to have your feet hip width apart, your knees as well, your pelvis in a comfortable position, your lower back is floating a little bit. Your mid back, upper back is just resting on the floor. Your shoulders are opened. Your neck's floating and your head is resting on the ground. Okay, so we have the scuff around the hips and I like you to cross at the front here. So we're trying to focus on the uh, two hip bones in front of the pelvis here. Okay, again, going back to a breathing exercise, you can place your hands on the end of the scalp here. So as you inhale, again, visualizing that your rib cage is still binded and the belly is still binded like previously. So we're expanding the rib cage as you inhale without pushing the belly out. Now, as you exhale, I'd like you to draw that pelvic floor up and think about the two front hip bones kissing towards each other, activating the lower abdominal muscle. Now, one thing I'd have to emphasize here, if you had a C-section, a recent C-section, I'd like it to be gentle with the pull of the scarf. I'd like it to not push it too much that you're disturbing the stitches here. So just use the abdominal wall to try to contract it in as much as you can, whatever you think it is. Sometimes it doesn't work like you think that you're working, that's okay. You're still healing. Give it some time, it will talk back to you. Okay, so let's continue here. Inhale, the rib cage expands. Exhale, pelvic floor. Kiss the two hip bones. Gently pull the scarf to each other and then drawing the belly button and the top abdominal wall towards the spine. Again, in breath. Exhale. In breath. Now taking care as you do this exercise that you're not rocking the pelvis just yet, yeah? So you keep the pelvis stable. You're purely working on the abdominal muscles. Again, let's do three more. Inhale. And. One more. Shh. 
Now we're going to move on to moving the pelvis. Before we're keeping it stationary, now we're going to rock it. So we inhale, exhale, drawing the abdominal wall in and keep it in there. Inhale again, don't push the belly out. Exhale, I want it to draw a little deeper and then I want it to rock the pelvis so your lower back is now printed to the floor with the power of your abdominal. Your pelvis, your bottom comes off the floor and an inhale, release. And release everything. Exhale, tighten up. Inhale, hold that. Exhale, go deeper and start rocking the pelvis. Keep the abdominal wall in and then release. Let's do three more times like so. Inhale, exhale, stay, inhale. Exhale, you rock the pelvis and inhale, release. Two more times, in breath. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, deepening up, rock the pelvis and release. Let's do one more time, in breath. Inhale, hold. Exhale, rock the pelvis. And release in breath. Let that go. Okay, that was the first five exercises. You can let the scarf off. If you are in between zero to six weeks of your postnatal, you can do that exercise on a daily basis to regain your connection to your pelvic floor and your deep abdominal core muscles. Okay, let's move on for the rest of you. So I'd like you to keep the legs together, keep the pelvis in what we call neutral position. I'd like you to place your hands on that front hip bones right here keeping the pelvis stable we're going to inhale we're going to open the right knee out to the side without disturbing the pelvis exhale close the leg drawing the lower abs in inhale the left leg goes out do not disturb the pelvis exhale drawing the lower abdominal in and close the leg repeat again so inhale here we're going to learn how to be aware of what it takes to be aware of the pelvis stability here, which means that we're going to need to activate the lower abdominal, need to activate the pelvis and stabilize the hip muscles. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, and in breath. And exhale. One more side, inhale, exhale, and the last one, inhale, exhale, hold it. Again, still focusing on stabilizing the pelvis as you breathe that. I want you to draw the abdominal wall in, float the left leg up to tabletop, knee over the hip. And now, inhale, we lower, Exhale, abdominal in, leg comes up to tabletop. Inhale, lower. Exhale, in breath, lower. Do your best that you don't arch your back as you lower the leg and don't press the lower back down as you lift the leg. So absolute stability in the pelvis. A good visualization, if you have a cup of tea resting on the front of your pelvis, I like that tea to stay be stable, no spilling, while you lift and lower the leg. Up, and now let's do one more. Inhale down, exhale, and let's lower the leg down. Let's switch to the other side. Breathe out, leg comes up, in breath, down. Breathe out, leg comes up, in breath, down. In breath. And in breath. Let's do two more here. Don't spill that cup of tea. In breath. Last one. In breath. 
You know what? Let's take it up again. Let's move on to our leg changes here. As you breathe out, we're going to lower the right leg and lift the left leg up without pushing the belly out. And in breath, we switch. Exhale, abdominal wall drawing towards the back. Inhale, we switch. Keep that content of the abdomen in. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. One more. In breath. Exhale. Stay. Keep the left leg up to ta on tabletop position or at tabletop position. Take your right hand pressed it in front of the thigh here. I like you to press the leg towards you and press your hand down to your thigh as you breathe out. And let's go. Exhale, press against the thigh and press up against your hand. You're gonna feel the abdominal wall contracting, engaging and release. Again, exhale, press, press, press and release. Two more times. And release. Last one. Press, press, press. And let that go. Switching. Right leg up. Tabletop. Left hand on the thigh. In breath. Exhale. We press up and press down at the same time. You find that abdominal, your obliques start to engage. I want to keep that belly towards the spine. And release. Again. Press up, press down, shoulders easy, and release. Again. Two more. Last one. And let that go. Okay, now let's turn to your side and come up, I'd like you to grab the ball and then we're gonna continue the exercise. And now we're gonna lie on our side. So we have the bottom arm long underneath you and we have the knees, both knees bent and the feet aligned with your spine. I'd like you to place the ball or the cushion in front of the chest, like so. Ease that shoulders down. The elbow can come up a little bit. Now, look, what I'd like you to do is just sink that lower waist on the floor and you feel like your belly is just flabbing out. Let it be for now. And then as you breathe out, I'd like you to draw the abdominal in and I'd like you to lift the bottom waist up so that your spine is now in a one straight alignment. And then pressing the ball down, engaging the underneath arm, underneath rib cage and armpit, pulling that center in and an inhale, let it go and release. And again, breathing out, drawing the abdominal wall in, pressing the ball or the cushion gently down to the floor and an inhale, we'll release. Again, exhale, we pick up the abdominal wall, press the ball or the cushion down and release. Let's do three more. We breathe out. Inhale. Two more. Inhale. Last one. And stay lifted in the waist. I like you to then open the knee out without moving the pelvis. And out two. In breath. Out three, support your spine, and four, and close. Let's do ten here. Five, your shoulders nice and down, and six, seven, eight, two more here, nine, last ten. We close. Let it all go and help yourself up, coming up into that seated position here. Tuck the both feet in and now here, opposite arm onto the cushion or the ball. Lift the underneath arm up and then reach over to the opposite side. I want you to stretch that arm away, 
the bottom arm away as much as you can. And release that. Let's do it over on the other side. Sideways. Bottom arm is long. Knees together. Feet together. Hand on the ball. Chest open. Let that belly go. In breath. Exhale. Pulling the abdominal in. Gently press the ball down or the cushion and let it go. Breathe out. In breath. In breath. Three more. Two. And last, let's stay. Stabilize the pelvis and open the thigh for 10. Two, three, four, five. Stabilize the pelvis. Keep the abdominal wall drawing in. Seven. Eight, nine, and the last ten. Well done. Here. And let's help yourself up. Come up into a little mermaid position here. Lifting the underneath arm up, reaching the bottom arm away, lengthening up, and off we go for a nice lateral side stretch. Inhale, reaching away. Go a little deeper and coming up and let it go. Place the ball away. Now, coming on down onto your forearm here. I like you to have the elbow underneath the shoulder and your forearm is straight in front of the elbows. Your knees are underneath the pelvis or the hips. And I like you to feel like you're spreading your elbows out and spreading the shoulder blades out and allow the neck to kind of reaching out or reaching away from the shoulder. Yeah. And then here, press gently the forearm down to the ground and lift the upper abdominal. Take an in breath here. As you exhale, I like you to press your ankle down, press your forearm down and lift that abdominal wall up but keeping that long spine alignment. Inhale. Exhale. I'm almost feeling like I'm pulling the floor apart. And an in breath. Exhale. Pulling my abdominal wall in. Keeping my neck long. In breath. Three more. In breath, going back to that binding breathing around the hip area. So as you breathe, I like you to kiss the two hip bones at the front towards each other so that you can draw that lower abdominal in. Two more. Last one. And let's stay there. Keeping everything stable, I like you to slide your right leg out and return and we slide return try not to drop the right hip and two more last one and we switch side pressing the right knee down lifting the abdominal wall in and we slide the left leg and in breath two more last bring it in tuck your feet under 
Okay, take a deep breath here. Breathe out again, pull the abdominal wall in, press the feet down. I'd like you to lift the knee slightly off the floor. Keep that shoulders active. Keep the upper back active here. And then we we'll lower. Let's do two more times. Breathe out, abdominal in. Press the feet, slightly float the knees up. Hold, in breath. Exhale, coming down. One more time. Open the shoulder, float the knees, pick up the belly. Neck is long. My upper back is working hard here. And then let that go. Now come up onto your arms, on your hands, sorry. So onto a, what we call a quadruped position here. Keep the feet tucked under here. Let's do a modified cat. So we breathe out, we pick up the belly, and then I like you to bring your spine towards flexion like an angry cat and then sit the pelvis halfway towards your heels and you're going to feel a nice stretch in that lower spine and bring your body over and then release back into the nice straight line breathe out push the floor away pulling the abdominal in then take your spine to flexion and halfway down towards the heels and an in breath over hands knee flat long back push the floor away sit back halfway in breath over hands knee and flat back let's do two more times exhale and sit towards the heels and in breath over hands and knees and flat back one last one please breathe out and halfway and over hands and knees and a flat back and lastly i like you to hold the abdominal in and i like you to drag that sternum forward Draw the armpit down towards the side of the ribs and then bring that upper back towards extension and keeping that neck long. And then release that, let go of the ankles, rounding the spine and let's sit down for a rest position. We're just gonna stay here, in breath. Exhale, two more breaths. And the last breath. And roll yourself up. And upright. Well done, mothers. Thank you for joining me on the mat today. I hope you had a great class starting to get reconnected to your body, get reconnected to your abdominal, your core, and start the healing process to becoming stronger again. I'd like you to continue this practice almost quite regularly for in a week so that you can regain strength within the first 12 weeks postnatal period. Thank you for joining me once again. I hope you wish you a good day. I wish you a good day and I see you in another class. Thank you.